Hey everyone, I'm Efren Barraza, Service Manager at Laboratory Instrument Specialists. Here at LIS, we service and sell various laboratory equipment. You can find a wide variety of instruments at lisci.com. Link will be down in the description. In this video, I'll be doing an overview of the Sartorius LMA200PM. We'll go over the important specs, show you how to calibrate the balance, show you how to properly prepare the instrument for testing, test on a couple different types of samples, and show you how to clean the instrument after use. Let's get into it. This is the Sartorius LMA200PM. Weighing in at a whopping 48.5 pounds, this unit measures 20 inches wide, 21 inches deep, and 12 inches in height. On the side of the instrument, there's three different data interface inputs an RS-232 to connect an external printer or a PC, a PS-2 to connect a keyboard or a barcode scanner, and an Ethernet port to connect the instrument to computers over the network. This instrument is heated by a microwave generated with 1000 watts of power, which can be manually controlled between 2 and 100% in 1% increments. The sample retainer in the chamber can hold 90 milligram glass fiber sample pads, while the weight of capacity of the balance is 70 grams. This balance is incredibly accurate and can read within one tenth of a milligram. Testing result accuracy is also very accurate and within one one thousand of a percentage. You can save up to 320 different drawing programs and you can view up to 500 recent testing results. There are three different testing modes, fully automatic, which relies on sensors for mass and moisture, loss of weight over time, where time is manually adjusted between 1 and 99 seconds, which can then be broken down between the amount of weight loss over time, or weight loss percentage over time. And finally, a timer mode, which can be set between 1 second and 100 minutes. There is also a built-in printer to print out your results once testing is completed. Now onto the calibration. In order to complete the calibration, we'll need a 50 gram calibration weight. First thing we need to do is log in as an administrator. The pin number is 9999. Now go to the setup menu. Select calibration, weighing module, external adjustment. Open the lid and remove any item placed on the balance. Press tear to zero out the weight of the balance Hit start. Now add a 50 gram weight to the balance. The instrument would automatically begin calibrating and adjusting. Once the calibration is complete, a copy of the calibration adjustment will be printed out and the display will show you the last time the balance was adjusted. Now we'll do a couple tests on various sample types. We will start off with our cream cheese sample. First, we'll load our pre-configured cheese sample program by tapping on the load program button. We're going to select cheese, load cheese, hit yes. Go back to the main menu. Select analyze, grab two sample pads. The sample pads have two different texture sides, a smooth side and a fuzzy side. We want the smooth sides to face up. Open the instrument and place both sample pads on the balance. Close the lid and the instrument will begin tearing to zero out the weight of the pads. When done, open the lid. Now apply the sample. We want to only apply around 2 grams of weight. Once the sample weight is correct, spread the sample evenly throughout the sample pad so you can get the most accurate test results. Place the sample back on to confirm the weight is still correct. Once correct, use the bottom pad and place it on top of the other like a sandwich. Place back onto the balance. Close the lid and the test would automatically begin. Now 
Once the test is complete, your results will be saved and a copy of the results will be printed out. Now we'll do a second test, this time on organic honey. We'll follow the exact same steps as we did with the cream cheese, except this time we will load a pre-configured program for honey. Once testing is done, it's possible you need to clean the instrument of any leftover sample debris. To clean the instrument, we'll first open the cover. Remove the adapter and sample retainer. Now use a lint-free, anti-static, or cleaning cloth to clean the inside. You can use a cleaning agent as well, just make sure it's diluted well. Once done, wipe the chamber dry and you're ready to begin testing more samples. And that's it! If you're interested in purchasing this instrument or getting its service, contact us at info at LISSI.com or go to our website at LISSI.com and click on the Service tab to submit a service requested form. Everything will be linked in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe for more laboratory equipment content in the future. As always, have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.